talking about the June Weevil S. This is the verdict. We've got the Weevil S with the Canon R and a wide angle lens. The great thing about this gimbal is you can use most lenses with most mirrorless cameras like the Sony A7 Mark III uh, with the G Master lens which is a very big lens and even using it at the maximum zoom you can still have it stable. Now one of the benefits that you'll get out of this out of most of the other gimbals you have to manually um, balance it first. With this you can manually balance it but you, it's a little bit more lenient when it comes down to when you set it up. If you put the camera directly straight on and you just do a few little tweaks, you don't have to get it perfect when you set it up. It will automatically calibrate when you turn the gimbal on. So there's a few different functions when it comes down to the software. You can also use your phone to set up some of the settings as well. So what I've been using this for for the last week is um, many different things around Sydney. I've been shooting buildings, I've been shooting uh, action sports, architecture, landscapes, and I was testing it out for countless hours. Um, I tried it for around eight hours the other day and it kept up to uh, around 60% battery by the end of it. The whole total battery of this is supposedly 14 hours. The battery life um, I was expecting to be far less, especially with something with this payload on it. If you do want to see online, um, they've got a whole page of different cameras and lenses that you can actually use with this thing. The power of it compared to some of the other gimbals is, I think, amazing. It's, it's got a lot of um, torque power to every single motor. It wasn't glitching out on any of the angles, even with the fast sports mode that you can use on it. They call it go mode. Uh, you can toggle it through some of the buttons on here. Uh, and again, with all the other modes, it's not depending on a phone or any other unit to get it to work. So I think overall, this, this stabilizer for under $1,000 does really well for anyone that has uh, a mirrorless camera. So yeah, you can see at the moment, I've got a handle. Um, that handle can go from top to bottom. So from under sling to over the top uh, angles. Uh, it's got a few other uh, cool cinematic modes like vortex mode, which basically gives you an inception that turns the camera around. POV, which is a great one if you are wanting to get those more stylistic shots. It's also got uh, pan follow, follow and other features like that in it as well. So I usually suggest, yeah, if you want something that's really good for um, everyday use and every single shot, uh, I think this is the way to go. I think the last feature I like to tell people is with manually balancing one of these, it's a nightmare taking the camera on and off. This guy here has a quick release device, so you don't have to rebalance it if you just want to use the camera as is. So yeah, that's, that's some of the features of this. Uh, again, it's the Weevil S. It just came in a few mo um, month or two ago. So it's definitely beneficial for anyone that wants to get those really nice shots without having to go over budget or have to have um, heaps of different things to um, get that cool shot. So yeah, um, build quality is great nice design um, and it can handle pretty much any condition. That's all for today and um, see how you go. If you want to get one, uh, you can jump on to um, any of the websites like TED's if you're in Australia or Camera House. But that's all for now and enjoy the rest of the day. See you guys.